Hello, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of PreAlgebraTeachers.com. I help busy middle school math teachers stress less and engage more students so that we can spend more time with those we love and less time lesson planning. I would love to show you around our amazing PreAlgebraTeachers.com membership. Let's head inside. So when you become a member of our community, you will log into our forums and it will look like this. The first place we want you to go is right here in our Start Here First Day of School forum. We want you to come and introduce yourself so we can give you a huge warm welcome. Next we have our Teacher's Lounge forum. This is where all the action takes place. If you have any questions or need any help, you post your question and you will get answers. One, I answer every single question that comes through this forum so you can know that you will get all the help that you need. We also have a staff meeting forum and this is where you can come and just vent without judgment. We have really difficult jobs. So there are just some days where you gotta get it off your chest. So you can come here, throw up a post with what's frustrating you and just be able to leave it, no judgment and move on. Next, we have our daily flash forum. Our daily flash is what I call our warm up. Some people also call them bell work, whatever you wanna call it, this is what ours look like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click in here so you can see. This is what our daily flashes look like. So you can see here that this is daily flash that goes with chapter 2-1. Each daily flash comes with four questions. So you can print this and post this, you know, have this underneath your document camera, have this on your smart board, or you can simply just copy it onto your whiteboard. And as you scroll, you can see here is a daily flash 2-1 answers, and you can keep scrolling. We have daily flash for 2-2, chapter 2-2 answers, so on and so forth. We have all of our daily flashes right here, ready for you to download. Next we have our How I Teach videos. I have recorded videos for you to show you how I teach certain concepts that have been really difficult for my students. That includes adding integers, subtracting integers, long division, and more. So these are great places. If you wanna know my teaching secrets on how to teach these concepts and make the concepts stick, you can click right in here. Okay, so here is our sixth and seventh grade lesson plans. We have everything you need. If you need materials for back to school, we got you covered. We have a full back to school bundle that includes everything you need for getting to know your students, icebreaker activities, student questionnaire, everything you need for the first day of school. We also have a syllabus template that you can easily customize to your own classroom. So this is for you. This is an example of what my lesson or my syllabus looks like for my seventh grade class, and you can customize it to your specific needs. We also have a classroom management plan template and everything you need for your teacher binder. We have an entire area of extras. This includes multiplication songs. We have our Common Core and Texas Teaks checklists. I love these checklists. I'm gonna go ahead and click the seventh grade checklist this checklist is so powerful. I give this checklist to all of my students at the beginning of the year, and as the standards are taught, we fill in the dates of when it's taught, when it's reviewed, and when it's assessed. And as the months go on, your student, you will see your students develop such confidence, and they will begin to believe in their math abilities because they can see right here everything that they have learned. And as this document continues to get filled up, it really starts to make them feel good about everything they're doing in your class. It's been hugely powerful. So we have that for sixth and seventh grade for Common Core and Texas Teaks. We have a math movie write-up. So if you wanna show movies in your class, you can have your students fill out this write-up without the guilt. Teacher observation checklist. This is one of my favorite activities. It is balancing a checkbook. My students need some real life skills and balancing a checkbook is a perfect fit. They learn how to fill out their own checkbooks. They learn how to fill out a checkbook register using real life situations. I love this. And 
If you're not implementing Math Talks, or if you don't know what Math Talks are, this Math Talks bundle is hugely powerful. Math Talks take a few minutes, and I just put this underneath my document camera. They're not, my students are not allowed to speak, they just have to think, and then they share their thoughts. Math Talks are amazing, and this bundle will help you get started if you need, them, if you need it. We also have one of my favorite activities called Tic Tac Math Spiral Review. This spiral review activity, in specifically for seventh grade, covers every single seventh grade standard. And every single page, there's 20 pages in all, every single page has nine problems like this, and all the problems along the perimeter are, are multiple choice, and the problem in the center is an open-ended question. So you can have your students partner up, one person is X, one person is O, and they have to get three in a row, or this is an awesome homework alternative. And of course, there is an answer key for every single page. As we continue to go through, we have every lesson plan, practice problem, engaging activity that you need to teach your sixth and seventh grade classroom. Chapter one is getting started. Chapter two covers integers. Chapter three covers equations. Chapter four covers factors and fractions. Chapter five covers rational numbers. Chapter six covers equations and inequalities. Chapter seven, ratios, proportions, and percents. Chapter eight covers geometry. And chapter nine covers functions and linear equations. I wanna just quickly go through and show you exactly everything that you get. So I'm just gonna pop back in to chapter two here. And I'm gonna take a look at our 2-2 adding integers. So I'm gonna click on the lesson plan. If you are in a common core state and you need to submit lesson plans to your principal, all you have to do is click and print. So this is our common core lesson plan. Every lesson plan includes the unit, the lesson, the topic, the common core standard that it aligns to, it tells you the procedure, it tells you the objective, the corresponding bell work, the I can statement, accommodations if you have any, and then there's a spot for you to write any reflection notes that you have um, for next year. We also have the same thing for Texas Teaks. So if you are in Texas and you have to turn in lesson plans, we have you covered. And it is the same thing, except this has Texas Teaks standards and everything else remains the same. All of our concepts has a PowerPoint so I'm gonna go ahead and open that for you. So here is our cover slide. We have vocabulary. We have the adding integer rules. We have practice problems. And of course, checking our answers. We also have extended practice problems. This is great for homework, for anything you need to practice. We have 25 problems on this particular concept, and of course, there's an answer key. We also have activities like coloring pages, one of the most engaging activities that you can give to your students is you have the problem here, we have the coloring page, and we have the answer key. We also have our spinner math activities. No prep, all you have to do is print this, provide your student with the paper clip because it acts as a spinner, and then they answer the questions. There's a reflection piece, which I love, and then there's an answer key. We also have mazes. Who doesn't love a maze? They look just like this. This is all about adding and subtracting integers, and then there's an answer key. One of my favorite activities that we also have are task cards. Task cards are so versatile. You can use this in classroom games. You can use this as an alternative to homework so it's not so overwhelming because there's only 15 cards. You can use this as partner work. You can use this really as anything that you want. Flat task cards are one of my favorite things to provide. And of course, there is an answer key. 
We also, also have sort cards. So here's your sort card. These are the answers. Students will cut these out, paste the answers to the corresponding question, and of course, there's an answer key. As we continue to scroll down, you can see that we also have eighth grade resources coming. We have tests for every chapter. We have classroom games. We have a share your stuff form where I post all materials that I receive when I go to professional development um, or a cool conference that I think would benefit our members. And then we have an entire area for teacher trainings. Thank you so much for joining me behind the scenes of our awesome community. I cannot wait to see you inside so that you can feel a lot less stress and have a lot more engaged students. I can't wait to work with you. See you soon.